What is up guys? So today I'm going to be doing a animation test with one or with uh, iOS 18.1. So let's get started. It's funny because I'm so used to saying uh, One UI instead of iOS. But yeah, first I'm just going to be kind of opening different apps just to uh, just see the different animations on the home screen. So honestly, it looks really great. It's really smooth. I noticed that notification kept trying to pop down. Honestly, I love the animations of iOS 18.1. Let me know what you think down in the comments. I'm just kind of messing with the most recent apps. Just going to go through like the different options if you press and hold an app. That's the Face ID. So if an app requires Face ID, it'll do a scan. So like you can like lock, you know, sensitive information like a health or like banking or stuff like that. What happens if you move around the different apps? So honestly, pretty great animations. And the biggest thing that came to iOS 18 is the ability to put your apps wherever you want. My sweatshirt ties getting into the video. But yeah, biggest feature of iOS 18, I would say for customization, is the fact that you can put apps anywhere on the home screen, which is really nice. So quick, I'm just going to stop it right there. Um, let's go ahead and customize. Another new thing you can do that I didn't show you guys is customize the app icon size. Light, dark, kind of tints the wallpaper. And the apps kind of makes the app stand out more than automatic. So it turns from light mode in daytime and dark mode in nighttime. And we could just have dark or light icons. And then tinted just automatically goes to dark. Oops, you can drag the cursor to different vi um, videos, to different colors, the intensity of that color. Come on. Or you could just use the little dropper. Just pick that color. And there we have a more customized app icons. Let's get back into the recording. Okay, and here are the different wallpapers. So this one is set to a sleep focus mode. So basically, yeah, sleep focus mode. So yeah, pretty cool. This one is school time. So it turns on school mode as soon as you apply the wallpaper. And as soon as you apply that mode, that wallpaper will show up. So here we have the different ones that I have, like the iOS 18 and the uh, iPhone 16 Pro wallpaper. Let me know what you think of this wallpaper down in the comments, or the one for the iPhone 16. Let me know what your thoughts are about it. And here I'm just kind of closing the apps. Unfortunately, we don't have a close all button yet. I think that should be here. It's literally everywhere else. And there is the new Siri animation. So that's pretty cool. Looks honestly really great. If you haven't already, if you have an iPhone 15 Pro Pro Max or 16 Pro Pro Max, definitely try out the new Siri. And here is the new type to Siri feature, which honestly is pretty cool. And it's only with One UI 6 or with iOS 18.1. And this was saying, what can Siri do? Basically, just really random things. But honestly, pretty useful. I will be having a Siri 2.0 video coming out, so definitely stick around for that. And this is something that's exclusive to the uh, iPhone 16 and 16 Pro, is the camera control button. So as you can see, you can change the, I guess, like the cameras and the zoom, the depth. I usually just have it set to zoom, and you can also just scroll with your finger if you don't want to use the control button. So yeah, honestly, pretty great feature, and I honestly really like it. I find it really useful to use, and honestly, pretty fun. Okay. And now for the control center. So here I'm just kind of going over the animation, just kind of seeing how it looks, seeing how smooth it is, then going really fast up and down. You 
going like tapping and holding it under the different like I guess not applications, but you know the different controls. Different brightness levels. I like how the sun gets bigger and then smaller as the brightness goes up and down. Also the dark mode apps and the night shift. And the true tone. So you also have these, like if you press and hold on the do not uh, disturb. You have um, intelligence reduction, is that what it said? Hold on. A reduced intelligence or interruptions, okay. So yeah, it kind of summarizes stuff and pretty cool. That also uses Apple Intelligence, so it will not be on the regular iOS 18. And here I was trying to shazam what I was humming and singing, but um, I don't know why it didn't register. And we also have different like sections in the control center. So we have, I'm just going pretty fast through them. So we have the normal control center music and then like, uh, I guess connectivity. So you can do that by just regularly scrolling or you could like I, you saw me do, which I'll show you. So I guess I'll do it now. If you just scroll down, kind of hold your finger and go over it, you get this cool animation. So yeah. There's that, but let's go back to the video. And here in the um, app drawer, is that what you call it? I don't know, actually. I'm, I'm actually new to iOS, as if you couldn't tell, me being used to saying One UI 6 instead of iOS 18. Here's the animation for the camera, or for the um, gallery. <laughs> and, is yeah, that's this video. So those are iOS 18 animations. Let me, or iOS 18.1 animations. Let me know what you think down in the comments if you enjoyed it. And if you think iOS has really good animations, honestly, I think they do. And definitely subscribe if you want to see my review or, or just kind of a video about everything that's new with the new Siri. So let's give you a small glimpse. Hey, Siri. Hey, Siri. How are you? I'm fine. Thanks. So I will be going deeper into the new Siri with Apple Intelligence, so definitely stick around for that. And thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, it would mean a lot to me if, if you would consider subscribing to my channel for more content like this. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. And I'll see you then.